Hong Kong's plan to take back its position as a leading crypto hub is underway, with its Securities and Futures Commission SFC, allowing retail investors to trade specific tokens on licensed exchanges starting in June. This comes after the city's unclear regulatory stance put it behind rivals like Singapore and Dubai. More details below. Hong Kong's government successfully issued its first tokenized green bond of 800 million Hong Kong dollars, 101 million United States dollars, in collaboration with Hong Kong's Bank of China, Credit Agricole CIB, and HSBC. Processes of the bond lifecycle will be digitalist and performed on Goldman Sachs tokenization platform, GSDAPTM, a private blockchain network. Talking about Hong Kong. It is going to launch 5,000 HK dollars consumer voucher scheme in the upcoming March to April. Have you opened a bank account with Hong Kong First Virtual Bank Zha Bank in order to link with the payment method Alipay HK and WeChat HK for claiming the vouchers yet? Using my invitation code, KE7BL3, to sign up, you will earn up to 1,200 Hong Kong dollars in rewards. Interestingly, I think some government workers or Zha Bank employees have watched my channel because they have been adopting my ideas in their policies. First, the Hong Kong government website has used B as the front page icon after my channel was launched in June 2020. Second, Za Bank started Send Money Wisely with Za Remit, new feature and partnered with Wise since November 2022 after my video about using Wise to transfer money. My video was posted in July 2020. Third, now Hong Kong Treasurer and Chief Executive started this scheme this year 2023 called Happy Hong Kong. Apparently, my Za Bank logo since 2020 is Happy HK. Do you see the connections? Therefore, subscribing to my channel can lead you to more creative fintech ideas and collect more money tips. More crypto news. Digital Yen Pilot Program coming. Japan will launch a pilot program in April to test its version of a central bank digital currency, CBDC, known as the Digital Yen. The move comes after more than two years of proof-of-concept experiments by the Bank of Japan, the country's central bank, around the Digital Yen. More blockchain bonds issued. German conglomerate Siemens issued its first digital bond on a public blockchain. The company used the Polygon mainnet to issue the bond worth 60 million euros, such a bond issuance makes paperwork more efficient and removes the requirement for a central clearinghouse, according to Siemens. Purchase multiple NFTs with the new shopping cart feature. You can now easily purchase up to 20 NFTs on Crypto.com, NFT in one go with the newly launched shopping cart feature. Save the hassle of repeating the checkout process by conveniently paying for multiple items at once. Try it out now at Crypto.com, NFT. Web3 Protocol Trading Competition. The Crypto.com Exchange Trading Arena is live with a new trading competition. This week, users can participate by spot trading Web3 Protocol tokens, including Sol, Apt, and Modich. The first 100 traders to reach US$10,000 in spot trading volume for the eligible tokens will receive a share of the US$5,000 prize pool. In addition, the top 10 traders ranked by spot trading volume will enjoy VIP Tier 1 status at the end of the competition, where they can enjoy 0% maker fees and 0.04% taker fees. For more information, refer to the link I posted in the video description below. The 4 Phases of a Crypto Market The Accumulation Phase Accumulation is the first phase of every market cycle. It starts after the end of the previous cycle when sellers have exited the market and prices are perceived to begin stabilizing. In this phase, the market volume is typically lower than average, as interest in the market remains low. The markup phase. Commonly referred to as the bull market phase, the markup phase is when the market moves higher in price at an increasing rate. During the markup phase, new groups of market participants enter the market, and with that generally comes a notable increase in volume. The distribution phase. At some point, after a bull run, some buyers become sellers. This is the distribution phase, where the buyers and sellers in the market are at equilibrium. This phase of the market sees high trading volume, and asset prices generally fluctuate within a limited range. The markdown phase. The markdown phase, or the bear market, starts when supply exceeds demand in the distribution phase. It is a period that's fueled by fear in the market, as the outlook becomes increasingly negative. This cascading effect can send prices of an asset to levels not seen since the markup phase. This week in crypto history. Elon Musk predicts paper money is going away. In a podcast on 19 February 2019, Tesla head honcho Elon Musk proclaimed that paper money is going away. He also mentioned that cryptocurrency was better than fiat in transferring value, and that the technology behind Bitcoin was brilliant. 
Today, Tesla accepts Dogecoin as payment for certain products, and any tweet by Musk vaguely related to dogs can send Doge soaring. Additionally, Musk has expressed his desire for Twitter to create a payment system that supports digital currency. Remember to use my crypto.com invitation code, EBVW4P5EVD, to sign up a new account for earning sign-up bonuses. That's it for this episode. Please subscribe, comment, and like my video. See you next time.